Well, how's it going guys? Sam from Mendeck here. Today, we're going to be going fishing. But before today's video starts, I do want to say this video is sponsored by Harry's. But, as you guys can tell, I'm in the bathroom. I know you guys are probably wondering, what am I doing in the bathroom? And well, Harry's is a shaving company. We got a little surprise from them. Here we got a box from Harry's. We're going to crack it open, see what's inside, and uh, you guys just hold on tight. Alright, we got the box opened here. And uh, we're going to take you out that. And well, bam, there we go. We got the Harry's box right here. And then... Look at all these freaking razors we got, boys. Oh god, yeah. Look at all these razors. We got four packs of razors. Nothing better. I am stacked for a while, and uh, this is gonna be perfect. Look at those bad boys. Four in each one. That is mint. They actually have their own factory where they make these blades in Germany, so they are nice, but for the past couple years, I've been using store-bought razors, and they are just not the greatest. As you guys know, you can see my mustache, and you get razor burns and whatnot. These guys, just they're just not it. So Harry's actually came through clutch, and these are prime, and uh, they're great. But, as you guys know, we got this big box right here. We need to open up. So, we got the box opened. It says, your shave supplies have arrived. Enjoy. Then they got this nice little card there. It says, hi there, and, and you know, it says harrys.com. So, that's always good. They give you a little package here. It says, everything you need for a smooth shave. So, I'm kind of excited to see what's in this. Let's crack it open and find out. So before we get open this, this is the starter set. They have a whole bunch of different sets. Here they got some shave gel. This stuff is mint. This stuff is actually really nice. I actually enjoy it a lot. Here they have a little cover guard for your blade so you know it's just not out and about. So here is what she looks like. She looks freaking handy as can be and uh, she's going to shave well. As you guys can tell, I kind of got a little muzzy and a little goatee going. Not looking greatest and uh, you know me, I like a clean shaved face. We're going to get shaving here. Oh god yeah boys, this is a good look. I think I should just go out and public like this. But Anyway, we're gonna get shaving here. I got the shaving gel on that Harry's gave us right here, and uh, it feels smooth already. I like it, and uh, we're gonna use this little razor to shave this little bad boy off, and I'll see you guys after. I already look 10 times better. Um, I know I still look ugly, but I mean, you know, got a clean shave now. I feel a lot better about myself, and uh, the great thing is, no razor burn. That's the best part about this. Here in the starter set, they offer you all the stuff you need for shaving, and it lasts you a while, and it's all quality stuff, so I definitely recommend it if you guys are getting razor burns, or if you guys are complaining about your razors or whatnot, definitely go check out Harry's. Anyway, we're gonna get fishing here, and I'll see you guys at the spot. Well, welcome back to another Mendeck episode. Today, Isaac and I, we're gonna be taking out the little John boat crappie fishing. That is right. Um, I found this little spot with John, and uh, there's a bunch of little crappies under there. So we're gonna go try and catch some, and I figured, why not? We might as well stop at Walmart and try and use some baits, uh, see how that goes. But well, we're gonna go ahead inside after Buddy eats his freaking chungus of a burrito. Almost done. Buddy's making me drive his truck because uh, he had to eat. But yeah, thank you. Appreciate you it. know what? We're gonna go inside, and I'll see you guys when we get to the fishing aisle. Okay, so we made it into Walmart now. We have a lot of plastics we can choose from, Mr. Rockin. We got these little guys right here, which honestly I think might be the juice. Little fuzzies. Yeah, I like those. Let's get a pack of those. So the goal is we gotta get some plastic, some baits uh, that uh, we think we might catch some fish. But also they have those little green, I don't really know, I don't vibe with those. Um, they like the small little green ones. All right, so I'm gonna go with these guys. One eighth, green yep. jig heads. I'm gonna match them up with those, those little guys. Turtles. I like that idea. Okay, bet. Well, that's what we're gonna rock with. Hopefully that can catch us some fish, because if not, oh. we're gonna be in trouble. But we're gonna go check out and uh, be on our way to the lake and I'll see you guys there. Well, after a little bit of struggling there, it's pretty windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right. But we made it underneath the bridge, and uh, she's a little windy. Hawken, yeah. how's, how's the head clearance here, bud? Maybe an inch? Nope, not even. No, it's not. If I stand up there, it's not like that. Not too hot. Hawken's working with the curly tail. I'll start out with the fuzzy tail jiggies. So that goes, but we got a few boys under here. We got another guy. He's just straight booling over there. Hopefully we can get on some fish. I'm gonna tie on and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Right, here's what we're working with, boys. Hopefully this is the juice. Um, yeah, we'll see how these little guys work. Ow. I can't feel anything, like. Why did I think this was a good idea? Cause it's not. My head's gonna be flat on the top, dude. Oh, my head went on again. No. I'm cheeks. What the heck, or heck? Here we go. Oh, get in here, baby. 
Let's freaking go. On the freaking green guy, the little fuzzy tail. Look at that little guy. He bit right underneath the boat. That will do her. We don't have a stringer, do we? Oh. All right. Flop her right by your feet, bud. Shoo! Look at that bad boy. God dang. Save some plus for me, man. Well, Isaac just caught his, what, third, fourth fish? Three. Three. His third fish. I am at one. Milk toast. I guess so. Bites the great one. There's one. Give me that. Ah, puppy. All right. Well, ow. That one really hurt. There we freaking go. My second one. They're right here, dude. Poppy. He absolutely murked it. Nice with another little guy. Oh god. You're falling over what the? Oh, here we go. No, I'm just letting it sit there. Literally just let it sit out there. Yeah. Poppy? Just letting it sit right next to the boat, dude. Just let it sit there. Got one. Mine is definitely bigger than you. Oh, dude. I don't know how much longer I can stay down here. <laughs> My head is just getting crushed. Yeah, I think I'm just cheeks. <laughs> As I say it. Alright, get in there. That one schlomped it, dude. It's nice and warm. A tear just shedded from my eye, so rip. Mint. Here we go. Ripped him. Vertical. Perfect. Nice little crappie. Vertical jig in that one. So guys, all we're doing is casting her out there, letting it sit in the current and letting it sink and then slowly jigging it back across the bottom. And the crappies seem to be liking it off the bottom, if not a little bit suspended with this current. I don't think our jigs are fully down on the ground. So I think it's just kind of floating there in the current, just like that one right there. That might be a better one. Eh. That was close. <laughs> that was, that was Almost tipped the boat, but you know what? A fish is a fish. I can clean them all if you want. Bet. All right, see you, boys. Catch some fish. Oh, watch out for limes and bubbles. Oh, shoot. Alrighty, we just got off the water. We got the boat loaded back up and we absolutely laid the hammer on the crappies. Isaac. Howdy. Good job, buddy. We got a little bit of a drive to go back home and then we gotta clean all these suckers. And that is not gonna be fun. We gotta clean all these suckers. That's gonna take a while. We got 30 fish total. We're gonna bring them home, do a little catch, clean, cook with these mother truckers. And we'll see you guys back at home. Alrighty, well that was a very interesting uh, intro there. Well anyway, it's been a couple days and the uh, way I should put the crappies in the freezer and I got them out right here. I have to cook these bad boys and uh, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. Well I guess I've had it before, like I've done this before. I've fried fish before but I haven't had this special kind before. Buffalo style, uh, I've never had it. The spicy one. I don't, I don't, I'm not a big spicy guy so we're going to give it a try. John said it was absolute gas so Great we're going to give her a try. Um, 
Yeah, so John, you're gonna be the critic. We already got the oil in the pan. It's heating up right now. So you're just gonna take your slabs of meat and just throw them in here. I sliced them up nice and small. And uh, we're gonna throw into the egg wash. Alrighty, so we got our buffalo style uh, seasoning in here in this little plastic bag. And we got our lovely crappy fillets right here that we're gonna take and put them into here. Then we're gonna take this, sprinkle some on top for good luck. Close her up, get a nice little air pocket. And we're just gonna shake her up. Oil is up to temperature. We're just gonna lay our fillets in there just like that. Oh yeah, these are gonna be good. I can already tell, these are gonna be fire. Alrighty, the fish is done cooking, finally. And uh, we're just gonna take them, look at those just little things. It's a second batch, so these are gonna be mighty fun. Oh boy, I am excited about this one. Alrighty. Then we're gonna take another paper towel, dap them off, and then get all soggy. And get all that grease and oil off of there. Alright, last step. So you just take some salt, just some regular salt, and you're just gonna sprinkle this stuff on. So these ones came off last, these ones came off first, so these ones are going to be the ready ones to eat, because these ones are going to be a little hot. Um, Daisy, here you go. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I can't, I, I, mean, I feel bad. I can't tease you like that, you know. So, here, you can get the first little taste test. Well, what do you think, Rick? She doesn't have any words. It must be good. Alright, I guess I'm going to go in. I've never had crappie this way, so, uh, cheers. Just look how... Bruh, that looks so good. Alright. That was my new favorite way to cook fish. Like the batter. Definitely my new favorite batter, for sure. You liked it. I liked it. You need to try. Cheers, boys. Hot. 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 I was going to say, you oh, have one oh. of the ones that came. All right, oh, hot. That was amazing. I already knew this was my favorite fish batter. It's like a good mix of well seasoned and a little bit of spice. It looks like it's gonna be super spicy, but it's not that spicy. No, it's not that spicy. They overhype it, but it. I'm 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 glad that they actually overhyped it because it's. Perfect, just the way it is. Personally, that's what I think. So if you guys like to use Shore Lunch or any other batters just like it, leave a comment down below which ones I should try next. Also guys, don't forget to check out Harry's. We'll leave the link down below. Go check them out. Fishing for those copies was great, and uh, they love those Walmart lures. Anyway, we'll catch you guys on the next one.